Hi, I'm Rob and welcome to another Woodward English video. Today we're going to learn about the correct pronunciation of ED at the end of words in English. In English, there are many words that end in ED. There are regular verbs in the past tense, for example, wanted, helped, called. There are regular past participles, needed, looked, cleaned. And there are also many adjectives that end in ED, for example, infected, relaxed, closed. Did you notice how the ED was pronounced in three different ways? How is the ED pronounced in the first column? Wanted, needed, infected. The ED sounds like id. Wanted, needed, infected. How is the ED pronounced in the second column? Helped, looked, relaxed. The ED sounds like a T or a T sound. Helped, looked, relaxed. How is the ED pronounced in the third column? Called, cleaned, closed. The ED sounds like a D or D. Called, cleaned, closed. So why do we pronounce the ED at the end of words in three different ways? Well, first we need to learn about the difference between voiced sounds and voiceless sounds in English. A voiced sound means that it uses the vocal cords and it produces a humming sound or a vibration here in your throat. Put your fingers on your throat here and pronounce the letter L. L, L. You notice there's a, a vibration here in this part of your, of your neck. L. This is because it is a voiced sound. A voiceless sound sometimes called an unvoiced sound, is when there is no vibration here and the sound comes from your mouth. For example, if we pronounce the letter P, 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 where does the sound come from? It comes from the front of your mouth. It doesn't come from here, P. No, it doesn't sound good. P, from the front of your mouth. Now try this with the other letters and you'll feel the difference between a voiced sound and an unvoiced sound. For example, sh, the sh sound, sh, where does it come from? It comes from your mouth. It doesn't come from here, it comes from your mouth. So it is a voiceless sound. How about f, f, the f sound, f, where does the sound come from? Does it come from here? No, it comes from your mouth again. So it is a voiceless sound. How about the N sound, the N, N sound? You notice it vibrates a little here. N. So N, the N sound, is a voiced sound. And the Z sound, the Z, the Z, or the yes sometimes, Z, comes from here. So it is a voiced sound. Now we know the difference between voiced and voiceless sounds, we can now look at the following rules about the correct pronunciation of ED in English. If the last letter of the word ends in a T or D, like want or need, then the ED is pronounced as an ID sound. Wanted, needed, the ID or the ED, adds an extra syllable to the word. Want, one syllable. Wanted, two syllables. Need, 
one syllable, needed, two syllables. So if that word ends in D or T, then you add the id sound to the end. If the last letter of the word ends in a voiceless sound, like the P in help, then the ED is pronounced as a T sound. So help becomes helped. It is important to know that we do not add an extra syllable. With the word help, we say helped, which is one syllable, and not helped, two syllables. That doesn't sound good. Let's go through the list and pay attention to the sound of the ED ending. Helped, looked, sniffed, laughed. The GH here is pronounced like an F, so it is laughed. Washed, watched, kissed, danced, fixed. They all end in a T sound. If the last letter of the word ends in a voiced sound, like the L in call, then the ED is pronounced as a D sound. So call becomes called. Again, it is important to remember that we do not add an extra syllable. No. So the word call, we say called. One syllable. And not called, which is two syllables and incorrect. Let's go through the list and pay attention to the sound of the ED ending. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used. Here the S sounds like a Z sound. Used, amazed, rubbed. They all end in a D sound, a D sound. Also, when a word ends in a vowel sound, we use the voiced D or the D pronunciation for ED. Play ends in an A sound. So play becomes played. Free becomes freed. Try becomes tried. Follow becomes followed. Continued becomes continued. So let's look at some example sentences. Listen to the pronunciation of the words ending in ED. I waited for two hours. She kissed her baby. It rained last night. Now, if you said rained instead of rained, people will understand you if you pronounce it with a T ending instead of a D ending. But if you say rained with two syllables instead of rained with one syllable, then people will normally not understand you. It seems like a small, insignificant thing, but it is the difference between people understanding you or people having no idea what you're saying. So remember, it's important that the id sound with the extra syllable is only after words ending in T or D. I hope this lesson helped you. If you enjoyed this video, remember to click the like button down the bottom and share it with your friends. Have an awesome day.